Hi there, everyone, and welcome to the all-new CT Style. I am Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. And, uh, Teresa, we're winding down the week here. Any uh, Long week, fun, right? Fun weekend plans. <laughs> yeah. I know all the storms. What and... am I doing? I'm going to a gala Saturday night Ooh. to help uh, support St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury. That'll be really Not nice. easy finding a maternity gown. Oh, Let yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah, ya. where do you even go for that kind of yeah, stuff? The internet. The internet. searching. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> you have big plans? Th uh, no, thankfully, I don't have to fit into any gowns this weekend. <laughs> or maybe I will just for fun. I don't know. But we want to give a shout-out to our fan of the day. His name is Tom Dacey. And he has a uh, local show here in Connecticut in Wallingford and North Haven. So, mm -hmm. Tom, thanks again for watching every day. I know you're a big uh, fan of the show. Yeah, that's great. Um, and, of course, uh, Baby Do is due in about five months. We're halfway yes. through the, uh, the pregnancy the at this point. Yes. And how cool is this? I know you're probably not going to appreciate this because, well, you're not a pregnant woman. But it's called the Oopsie Loopsie. What is so, that? I have maternity pants on right now, so okay. I can't use it. But if you wanted to stay in your regular jeans, you just loop this over the buttonhole, and it uh -huh. stays open a little bit. It lets you kind of undo your pants. I mean, you could use it if you ate a lot one day, or like Thanksgiving. I'll, if, be, I'll be keeping my <laughs> pants on during the show. I'm Teresa. just saying, if you ate, it gives you a little bit of an extender, so you could yeah. still wear your regular jeans. Yeah, maybe we'll wear it for for Easter dinner or something. Just you know, throw the oopsie loopsie on too, for men. But it's so you great. Know? It was uh, created by two uh, sister-in-laws, one from Hamden, one from Guilford. Okay. And uh, they have the website oopsieloopsie.com, and you can get your own there. They were so nice to send me one. That's Pretty neat. excited to put it good to good use. Yeah. And There's two. I'll give you the extra. Oh, thanks. I'll, I'll be using it after, sh <laughs> after the show. And it's cool that it's a, a, a local, local family. Company, sure. that's, that's pretty neat. All right. Uh, now, sometimes, uh, you know, you, you have to look smart. And a, a new study came out showing some of the things that make people look a little bit smarter, whether you're, you're in the office or at home, and you just want to look a little more intelligent. All right. So here are some tips. The first one, if you're at a party, the way to avoid, uh, well, you just want to avoid holding booze. That's coffee. You're see, allowed I, to I, use that. Uh, coffee makes you look smarter, I guess. Well, see, I, I, I disagree with this, Teresa, because when I see somebody at a party or a function and they have, you know, a nice martini or something like that, I, I think it's it's very social social and intelligent looking. Now, if, if you have a 40 ounce, that's a little <laughs> different. I mean, I don't think that's very high class or anything like that. Uh, but uh, moving on. So it depends on what you're drinking. Yes, yes. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I don't know. For what it's worth, uh, another way to appear a little bit smarter is to walk the same speed as everybody else. Are you a slow walker, fast walker? I am. I usually get left in the dust. Yeah. Well, I, apparently, if you walk the same speed as other people, people perceive you as being smart. So don't walk too fast and don't walk too slow. There's your little fun fact for the day. All right. And uh, you have a new look here today. Are you trying to go along with the uh, story here, well, looking yes. smart with yes, glasses? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a new study also says that by wearing glasses, you look a little bit smarter. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm, I'm wearing them. Says who, right? I don't, <laughs> I don't know who writes these studies anyway. But there you yeah, go. I guess. Yeah, you I don't know, feel but, smarter? No, well, it says by wearing glasses, you're less attractive and uh, more intelligent, but I just feel more attractive. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. To each its own. Yeah. And uh, here's an interesting one. <laughs> Use a middle initial. This is said to increase a person's perceived social status while also making them appear smarter. Maybe that's why John F. Kennedy mm. was so... Uh, Successful? That makes sense. What would yours be? It would be Teresa. Well, Anne. My middle name is Anne, so it would be Teresa, Teresa A. Dufour. Teresa A. Dufour. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of like the ring of that. We might have to change our business <laughs> cards for that one. And then finally, uh, looking people in the eye. A uh, university professor found that looking people in the eye while talking to them is a big part of why they think you're smart. So I guess you shouldn't be looking at their ear anymore, people. And we Stop put this out on Twitter. We want to see what people said, mm -hmm. what makes them feel smart. And uh, Threads and Vino, clever name there, tweeted us saying, it's all about believing in yourself, wearing something that you love, and if worse comes to worse, fake it before you make it. I think that's good advice. Yeah, fake it till you make it. And and we like the name there. It's Threads and Vino. <laughs> it took us a second to get it, but we thought it was funny. Yeah, it took us about 15 minutes. All right. <laughs> in other news, of course, I'm sure you've seen Bruce Jenner has reportedly, uh, he signed a in, in, an interview with Diane Sawyer, and it is expected to air in May. And, of course, there's... During sweeps, probably. Yeah, that makes so sense. that makes sense. <laughs> but, obviously, you know, there's a lot brewing around his uh, rumored yeah. gender change. He what wants you, to be a woman. Yeah. What, what do you think about this, Teresa? I think that's a personal decision, and I think uh, it might be difficult for his children, perhaps, mm -hmm. to be coping with it. But, um, you know, I think Kim went on... Kim, I call her Kim. We're best buds Kimmy. here. Oh, yeah, Kimmy K, my girl. <laughs> but she said, you know, let him do what he wants to do, whatever he feels most comfortable with. Yeah. So it's uh, interesting. And it seems like it's really not a shock to anybody. It's mm. been a slow progression. I don't mm -hmm. know if you followed along with oh, yeah. keeping up with the Kardashians. Oh, of course, every day. That's all I do before I go to bed. I keep up with the Kardashians. But I, <laughs> I think it's, it's interesting, and, and maybe people are, are so kind of into it because... 
he was such a masculine figure. Well, he was an Olympic and, athlete, right. right? Yeah, one of the most athletic men in history, and now he's he's going through that change. So, so best of luck to him. And to be honest, if I lived with the Kardashians, I would probably do the same thing. He here's a Connecticut. We always like making Connecticut connections. Yeah. Uh, Newtown grad. In fact, their stadium was called Bruce Jenner Stadium oh, really? for about 25 years. Wow. That's, so there you go. That's pretty cool, bringing it full circle. Well, we want to know what you think about the whole Bruce Jenner situation. Make sure that you tweet us at CT Style, and so we can uh, see what you think about that. Uh, all right, this is kind of interesting. Uh, the National Sleep Foundation has revamped their recommendations for the amount of sleep that we need based on our age. Uh, this isn't really good news for us adults. Now, babies and kids are expected to sleep the most. Now, out of all age groups, mm -hmm. newborns, of course, are, are sleeping the most. We have some are statistics they, Are they here. really sleeping, though? I guess in sh short little increments, You'll be finding out soon. You'll they recommend 14 to 17 hours for newborns, slightly different from the previous recommendation, which was 12 to 18. And for toddlers, one to two years old, they recommend 11 to 14 hours, a little wider than their previous recommendations. Mm -hmm. How much sleep do you get every night? Uh, well, it depends on, on the night, what we're doing here in the studio. Well, like seven, about that? I think I'm closer to five, which, five? Is, which is tough. Yeah, yeah that's unfortunate. School-age children, six to 13 years old, got a bump in the amount of sleep they need. Research say, researchers say they could get nine to 11 hours, which isn't so bad there. Teenagers? Yeah, teenagers, they're getting uh, 14 to 17 year olds, they're getting 8 to 10 hours, which was previously set at 8.5 to 9 hours. And then for all of us over the age of 26, uh, unfortunately, we had to change uh, to 7 to 9. I guess there was no change there, unfortunately, so we just have to keep sleeping the least, unfortunately. So that's what's brewing. 7 to 9 hours, that's, that's a lot of sleep, I feel like. Not in my book. I like 12 hours, but that's well, just I me. It would be ideal, but does that happen? No, never. All right, now, <laughs> All right. 